quick video on explaining storage in your computer. The storage in your computer, it, you got basically two types here um, that you, as a normal user, will probably be caring about. You got your hard drive <clears throat> that's going to actually store your files, so like your operating system, your documents. Um, pictures, music, videos, all that stuff gets stored onto your hard drive. The other type of memory in your system is called RAM. And that's these little sticks here in your computer. Uh, this big board here is called the motherboard. And what goes into there is your RAM sticks. And these RAM sticks are basically your computer's working memory. So uh, think of it kind of like as your desk space, um, so to say. You can only work on as many things that can fit on your desk at the time. For example, uh, on my desk, at the moment I can fit probably about two computers on here on their side and work on them at the same time. <clears throat> that's the, basically the same thing as your RAM. The storage, that's going to be your hard drive. That'd be like this rack of computers over here. I can store tons of computers over there. I can pull them off that rack, put them up here on my storage space or my work area, my desk space, and work on them. And I can work on two of them at a time. But I can store a heck of a lot of them over there and, and boxes and all that stuff. So think of this as your room in your house or your house, so to say. And think of this as your actual desk or work area um, that you can actually use stuff all at the same time. So if you have um, 256 megs of RAM, that's nothing nowadays. Um, that would barely run Windows XP. So you go through, you pull up some more files off your hard drive. Something in your RAM has to be pulled out so it can load up what you're trying to pull off this hard drive. So, it goes through, it pulls some stuff off, and puts into what is called virtual memory, which goes right back onto your hard drive. Virtual memory is what happens when you run out of space on your RAM. So, I can't fit any more computers up here on my workspace, but I'm working on them. But I can't work on them at the same time, so what I do is I set them, you know, over here on the corner on the ground here and then I can go back work on this one real quick because this guy needs it right now so I go through a work on it and I can put this one you know back over on the ground pick another one up put up here work on it that's kinda like uh, how virtual memory works you know my room here all this don't you love it when I do that with the camera just to piss you off <laughs> um, my room here is my hard drive and on my hard drive I have this little bit of area that I use to put a computer down when I run out of work on my work area, my desk. And my desk is my RAM. Think of it that way. That's probably the best analogy I can give you for um, memory and how it works. Uh, for you more advanced people out there, um, there is other type of memory, you know, like NVRAM, uh, your BIOS ROM, things like that. And that's going to be on a tiny little chip. Uh, I think this one is here because I don't see any others. <laughs> Believe it or not, um, that's probably going to be the BIOS chip there, I'm going to assume, because I don't see any others on this board <laughs> besides the uh, chipset chip. And, you know, that's going to have things like your BIOS settings, um, you know, um, startup options things like that for your BIOS. Um, so that's another type of memory altogether that affects how your motherboard works. Um, doesn't really affect too much your operating system, just that it's going to tell your operating system you have a hard drive installed, you've got a CD installed, and um, you know, you got a certain type of processor, certain type of chipset, things like that. It's doesn't going to have a huge effect on your computer other than that um, <clears throat> to give it the simple lowdown breakdown what the ROM will do or the BIOS um, memory kind of things but uh, that's the uh, 
just of all the types of storage in your computer there is things such as cache as well I'll go into that real quick for your processor that's the processors working area and just like I was telling you before with the hard drive and the RAM think of the uh, cache on the processor as the working area compared to the RAM and you'll understand it uh, a little bit better basically the processor doesn't have to keep going back and forth uh, to the RAM if it can pull up more stuff and keep it in here the RAM won't have to keep going back and forth to the hard drive you know if things are load up in RAM so the more RAM you have the less it has to go back and forth to the hard drive the hard drive is probably the slowest thing you have in your computer next to a CD-ROM this is your slowest form of media um, that you use constantly so less this has to be used the better the RAM is going to be next fastest and of course the uber fast is going to be the cache on your processor because uh, it just works inside itself it doesn't have to go out to anything else so the more it can cache up the better the less it has to go and ask the RAM to go to pull stuff out of the hard drive the better and that's the quick simple most basic way I can describe RAM and storage for you so hopefully that was uh, some benefit for you and if you got any questions uh, comments on it feel free to you know post them below or send me an email or comment you know the little message thing up in the top right corner that thing yeah so next time I'll see you later